I was uh, outside one day and I noticed this huge spider web and no spider. So a couple of days passed and still big spider web, but no spider. And I went out there to clean and I cleaned up the web. <laughs> and so I cleaned, cleaned, cleaned. Next night I went out there and the spider web was back. This time it had a spider, a big spider. And I thought, oh my goodness, I'm so sorry. I, I'll leave it alone. And uh, I'm the only one who goes out there. You know, the kids, when they're here, they go out in the front. They don't usually go in the back anymore. But uh, Josiah Hezekiah, the seven-year-old, he went back there and he says, oh my gosh, Nino, look at that thing. That sucker's huge. And he gets the broom. He goes, I'm going to kill it for you. I said, you will do nothing of the sorts. My dear, I said, no, no, no. I said, you leave that spider alone. It's there. The creator has a special place for everybody and everything. So you leave it alone. And so then um, I said, after all, spiders uh, represent wisdom. And for the, now I'm going to share a story. For those of you guys who uh, know my story, I, I used to uh, work at the YMCA. Briefly, very briefly, and uh, so I was I, I was teaching at the YMCA once, and they put me in the cafeteria, and uh, I look in the corner, and there's tons of spider webs in the corner, and I'm I, I say out loud, I go, when is the last time anybody cleaned this place? My goodness, they have the Halloween decorations up already, and it's only September, so. Um, one of the little girls, she says, Oh my gosh, look at those big old spiders. Don't you worry, Mr. Jack. I'll get them for you. And I said, no, 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 no. You, you leave those, you leave those spiders alone, dear. And then I said, uh, spiders represent wisdom. And so all the kids are looking at me. And so I had shared with them. Uh, I said, you know, ever notice, uh, I said, um, the story of Charlotte's Web. Remember the story of Charlotte's Web. Uh, Wilbur was some pig and the spider uh, was sent to be a friend, ended up being a friend of Wilbur's and sharing her wisdom with him and sharing, um, just being a friend to him and sharing her wise words with him and helping him understand that he was terrific, terrific, terrific. You know, I said, that's why sometimes when you guys will notice in the shower, where do you get your deepest thoughts? When you're there in the shower and good thoughts come to you and you get wisdom and you'll look up in the corner and there's a spider there. Leave it there. Spiders represent wisdom. And so then uh, we go uh, back into the big classroom later on that day. We all got put into the big classroom and there was a big spider <laughs> in the classroom. And the director, she was younger than me. She you know, these kids are like 22 years old. Um, and the, the children that we were looking after are grammar school age. So between kindergarten and fifth grade. So the 23 year old director says, screams, oh my God, get that spider, get that spider, get that spider. And, um, Mr. Ryan goes to get the spider and then you hear one of my kids, Janobi, scream at the top of his lungs, no, don't kill it. Spiders represent wisdom. Just then every teacher in that, there were four different teachers in that classroom. Every single one of them looked at me. And I laughed and I said, well, <laughs> you know, you can't, you can't argue with the truth, honey. Can't argue with the truth. Uh, I had gotten not reprimanded, but I had already been told uh, that um, the language that I use with the children uh, should be more, well, whatever. They, they tell me to watch my mouth, what I told these kids, because I was teaching uh, philosophies, I guess, to these children that they thought couldn't understand it. But don't underestimate the child because children more know a lot, a lot more about this world than adults do. 
excuse me, but anywho, back to the spider. I think spiders do represent wisdom. And lots of times when I'm out in my meditations, that's where I get my best thoughts and I get my best ideas when I'm out there and I get the most wisdom out there from the spirit, you could say, from the spirit of the spider who is very hard laboring, uh, creating their web, you know, their web to kind of catch their food, catch the mosquito, catch the fly. And, and um, what I loved about the spider today I was out there and a, I saw a leaf fall off the tree and into the spider web at the top of the spider web. And the spider went directly to the leaf and it moved the leaf uh, to clean it off, clean it up her web, its web. And the leaf fell off but then landed on the bottom of the web. So then the spider walked down the web and it pushed the leaf off all the way until the leaf got off of its web. And it went to a different place where there was something else on the web and it cleaned it off. And the whole idea here, what we wanted to share with you is clean your web, clean up your house. People, my grandmother always says, make sure before you go sweep your neighbor's house, uh, before you go clean your neighbor's house, make sure your patio is swept. Make sure your uh, porch is swept off. What is this saying? Let me get it right. Before you go clean your neighbor's house, worry about cleaning your neighbor's house, make sure your front porch is swept off first. And make sure that your web is cleaned off before you go offer your wisdom to other people, before you tell somebody else how to clean their web or what's in their web. You know, lots of times we teach the web of marketing. The web of marketing is uh, one source, which is your website, and then you have your Facebook part of your web, and then you have Instagram, and then you have Twitter, and then you have your email list, and all different ways to market Instagram, YouTube, videos, audios, podcasts, all different kinds of things in your web. And sometimes you got to go clean up shop. You got to say, okay, what's in my web? What's, you know, sometimes I'll go through my Facebook timeline and I'll hide stuff off of my timeline. That way, anybody who's out there and is nosy when they click on Jack, when they click the, the, the profile, when they start scrolling through, what's on there? Are there some leaves that have fallen in there that I need to get rid of? Do I need to clean up shop? What's doing good? What's not doing good? Is there something that I could comment on to boost up the algorithm? Is there something I could comment on to put back in the algorithm, to put back on people's timelines ultimately, so that way people can see me, more of me, what I have to give out to this world? The wisdom that I have been given, that I want to share with others, the love, all of that stuff, right? That's all part of our web. And the spider, whenever the web gets messed up, the spider will go and fix that part of the web. And so it's constantly working and constantly, you know, making sure that the web works for the fulfillment of the spider's heart's desire, not only to give it a place to actually live and be, but also a place where, uh, things can kind of get trapped. <laughs> and what I learned from uh, one, one of the marketing teachers is sometimes marketing is like a big mouse trap. And you ultimately, you put out pieces of cheese in your marketing. Marketing is just preparing the customer to buy, right? So you put out different little different pieces of cheese for the mice to consume. And what happens is those that those cheese, those pieces of cheese, they lead to a huge mouse trap. But the only thing is the mouse doesn't get trapped inside the cage. No, the door is open. The mouse comes in happily to eat more cheese and consume more cheese. And when the mouse is finished, the mouse gladly lets itself out of the cage. 
and it's a constant thing the mice are always coming in getting the food getting consuming the product and services consuming the material consuming the the Te applying the techniques and procedures that we teach, especially in the group, if you're not part of our group, we welcome you. We welcome you to be part of. Ugh. We welcome you to be part of our group, facebookcom forward slash groups forward slash tribe truth, where we tell the truth and shame the devil. Um, but we also invite you to come to be part of our newsletter at justjack.com with two s's. Make sure you. Uh, Get with the person who shared this link with you or shared this audio with you. Get on their newsletter and thank them. And one question tonight you can ask is, what does my web look like? What does my web of wisdom look like? And how can I use that web of wisdom to give out and serve more and more and more people? Lots of love to you guys. I'll see you on the flip side. Bye, Felicia.